of the first inductees into Contact 13's HOA Hall of Shame has pled guilty to stealing from his association and the people who live there. It is the latest in the saga of Paradise Spa. As Chief Investigator Darcy Spears explains, what started with her investigation nearly two years ago is resulting in payback for homeowners. Financially, this is pretty big. A million bucks is indeed pretty big, especially for homeowners of the rundown, neglected Paradise Spa condo complex. The place is a shadow of its former self, thanks to the actions of this man, Aaron Yashafar. He's the former HOA treasurer and owns the majority of the Paradise Spa units. People that are that are in a situation of trust, as Mr. Yoshafar, they're entrusted to keep the best interests of the homeowners association paramount, and clearly he didn't do that. Yashafar was indicted in December on three counts of theft and three counts of embezzlement for taking in insurance proceeds that were supposed to be used to repair buildings damaged by fires. He also transferred about $400,000 out of the Paradise Spa account, reserve account, uh, to his own accounts in California. Multiple residents, mostly seniors like Iris Hokinson, were displaced by the fires. All the money that I've already paid, and I still owe money, so, and I have nothing and no place to move back in. And I don't know what I'm going to do. Adding insult to injury, Iris and others were renting units from Yashafar, the very man who took the money that was supposed to repair their homes. But when we found out that most of the money is either gone or absconded with, I, I said, this is unconscionable. This is the worst case of elder abuse I've ever seen. In a plea bargain, Yashafar pled guilty to just one count of felony theft. He has to repay the million dollars he took and all the HOA dues he hasn't paid to Paradise Spa for years. But under the terms of the agreement, he may not serve a single day in jail. He'll be in custody for 30 days, but that could be on house arrest. The rest of the five-year term would be probation. Yashafar will go to trial if he fails to pay the million dollars back to homeowners by the time he's sentenced in the fall. If he doesn't meet the court's deadline, the plea agreement falls apart. Darcy Spears, Channel 13, Action News.